traditionally the most talent-rich division in all of MMA. And those of you watching, perhaps seeing Kobayakusei's back and thinking, huh, those tattoos look kind of similar to the back tattoos that Conor McGregor has. Well, that is no coincidence. He is a big fan of the notorious Conor McGregor. And if you flip the script, Parwais Arabs are a huge fan of Khabib Nurmagomedov. And let's face it, the McGregor Nurmagomedov rivalry uh, is perhaps the greatest and biggest in all of MMA. So maybe we'll see some of that intensity play out here tonight. Oh, the intensity certainly kicking off here. Looking for the, the low section there. Just that outer low kick on multiple attempts there. And I feel like Kobayik say he does a lot of his work when he sort of is setting up his combinations. He has a great outside leg kick. He does do very well when he's leading off of his lead kick as well. As you can see there, season striker, he checked that kick almost academically. Like it's, he had a crystal ball, looked at the future and knew that it was coming. He's very comfortable when he's on the outside. Arab Zai now trying to close the distance, which is definitely the right move. He's not as much of a kicker as Kobayik say. He's a little bit more stronger on the boxing side one would perhaps give uh, Kobayiste the speed advantage as well, but that is negated here. Oh, just as you say that, commentator's curse, they are free. <laughs> there it is, the commentator's curse right for you. <laughs> it's better to have it at the beginning of the evening, of course. Exactly. <laughs> as we make our way up to our main event later on tonight, we'll tell you all about that, of course, in the minutes to come. An observation phase here, if you will, both fighters gauging each other, but the powerful low kick attempt here again. To, could destabilize indeed one of the fighters. If there are several low kicks that are landed, it is something that could add up in the mid, in the mid run as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, investing in leg kicks, that's basically money in the bank. They might not necessarily, or you might not necessarily see the fruit of your labor early on, but if it does end up going to the third round, your opponent will really have a hard time pushing off of that. And that can materialize both in terms of weakened takedown attempts where you can't necessarily get the same drive that you would want, but also weakened striking because obviously you want to be able to l push off of your lead leg when you're trying to really get those haymaker knockout strikes. And it looks like a small cuck already. Right on the eye, left yeah. eye there, exactly. And Arab Zai getting hit, and uh, we'll see how the, uh, the situation unfolds regarding that particular cut. We'll keep an eye out for that, no pun intended there, but looking at Karab... <laughs> Uh, Koba GJ capitalizing, going for the uh, the left jab, trying to close the distance and strike the face yet again. Maybe contemplating the front kick there as well. We saw the knee go up and the foot get into position, but he held back on that one. And as we saw in the graphics, he is a pure striker. That is a testament truly to the, where he feels most comfortable. He has said that he feels at home when he's boxing. Oh, oh, check out the low kick. Pardon the interruption. <laughs> no, that was... I mean, see, that is where Kobayakusei is at his best when he's mixing up his striking. We're just seeing that right here. And a, well, that prompting an immediate response, Sebastian. That is a, unbelievable, the the way the up-tempo has taken place here in the uh, Arab's eye trying to... Oh! Great balance there by Kobayakusei. That is very, very nice takedown defense right there. And it is definitely a... a it's a bit of a statement as well because it's showing our Zai that, hey, you're going to have to try harder. Because if you're Kobayakusei, just you're staying on the outside and you can probably win this on points, if nothing else. Arab Zai, he's got to start finding a way to getting this fight to the ground. And there you have it. It is going down to the mat. And uh, on the mat, it's going to be a different game. Kobayakusei not using his tools uh, to his advantage like moments ago when they were standing up head to head. And Arab Zai very much more comfortable in this situation. Oh, yeah, absolutely. As mentioned, he's a big fan of Khabib. And what is Khabib good at? Smashing on the ground. And Arab Zai had said that he hopes to secure the fight of the night here at Hexagon 6. And he's just a, a real workhorse. I mean, don't, I don't expect that cut really to be something that troubles him in that sense. I mean, it might give the, the cage side physicians a, a bit of a headache, but I, I expect Arab Zaya to just kind of power through it. Yeah, looking strong here with the upper hand in this position, but once again, anything can change. Now, now, Sebastian, what does Nika have to do to get himself out of this predicament here? So right now, you can see he's in a closed guard. He's locking his feet together. And that's usually more of a temporary defensive move. That's basically holding your opponent in place. But it's not good if you want to get out of this. So what he needs to do is he needs to open up the guard and push away from his opponent. Though unfortunately now for him, he's got the cage working against him. The cage can be an ally. It can also be an enemy. In this sense, it is actually blocking his route of escape. He can kick off like he's doing out there. But you see, he can't. It was hard to get out. And now full mount position here for Arab Zai. This is a great position 
for the Afghan fighter who now calls friends home. Oof. Our doctor in this corner man there is taking care of his eye. Everything looking really smart, really good for now. Round number two, we are back for five more minutes in fight number one here at Hexagon 6. MMA from the French capital, Paris, at the Zenit, which is an iconic location for combat sports, of course, concert hall, etc. But we're not here to talk about concerts tonight. <laughs> Perhaps just a symphony of violence here. Oh, nice entry there for Arab Zai, cutting the distance once again. And just getting right up close and personal to the Georgian fighter. It could be indeed a carnival of carnage out here tonight. And so far, Arab Zai, he's got one underhook on the right. You can see where he's got his arm underhooking his opponent's left. And that is going to help him keep his opponent in place. If you're Kobashija, you want to get an underhook of your own so you can use that to angle out and separate. So Arab Zai using again the same location, the same area right there of the cage to push his opponent up against uh, the edge of it. And we'll see how Kobashija is able to, to fight his way out of it, get back in position, get some distance and use those strong and powerful legs. Nice job there, getting the separation that he needed. Oh, yeah. And he is back. The Georgian getting ready to deliver some, but Arab Zai right away trying to pounce and close the gap. Arab Zai's kind of, he's kind of finding his rhythm now. I mean, he, these blitzes, they might look a little bit uncontrolled, but they are doing the work. And I, I mean, it's exactly what he needs. It's disrupting the striking rhythm of Kobasija. Going for that low kick as well. Landed that one nicely on the outer thigh. Yeah, it looks like a low kick and then jab combination there for Koba TJ. Oh, oh. Hook, lead hook kick as well. And expect some flashy stuff from him. Since he moved to France, he has wins in pancreation, Muay Thai, MMA, and K1 kickboxing. So he's a guy who can kind of do it all. Oh, how's that? <laughs> Spinning back elbow there as well. Just as I said, expect some flashiness from him. There you go. He caught Arab Zai there as well coming in. Ramzan might be a little shaken. Yeah, he looks like he has a, he's not reacting the same way indeed. Is that a moment where Koba TJ can capitalize on? Oh. There's a take down. Good sprawl there from Koba TJ. Perfect. Nicely. Good reaction there going for the takedown, resisting that one nicely and staying in a prominent and dominant position. And Nika getting a lot of applause and support from the French crowd here in, in Paris. Absolutely. The cheers raining into the cage here. And it's Koba TJ in the open guard. There's not, I can't quite see the hand positioning on the right side, but he should be able to advance. Yeah, he's in, he's in half guard now. Much better position. And luckily that cut, not bleeding into the eye, impeding Arab's eye's vision in any way. And again, we're at uh, the second half here of round number two. With a scenario similar to what we had earlier on, it is all down on the mat. That's where it's taking place. A reversal of storylines, if you will. Koba Zijie now enjoying uh, the position on top of his opponent. You can kind of see that Koba Zijie not necessarily as comfortable on the ground as Arab Zaire was. He, he passed to, to full mount very, very quickly, like a hot knife slicing through butter. Koba Zijie, you know, he's finding a little bit more adversity here, which is to be expected. It's not perhaps his biggest strength, but nonetheless, this is a dominant position. He is scoring. Uh, points and strikes here, so definitely where he sh where he should be right now as well. Only thing I'm thinking of, he's kind of giving Arab Zai a breather to sort of get his bearings back under him. He did seem a little shaken before, and if you're Arab Zai, then here you can kind of hold on. You can kind of almost sacrifice this round in favor of getting your head back into the game for the third. Exactly. We were talking about that moment earlier on. We looked a little bit shaken, but not necessarily stirred. Arab Zai back on his feet, his opponent as well. And it looks like Koba Zijie is just waiting for the perfect opportunity to create uh, the ultimate combination. And it's Arab Zai, in fact, moving ahead, pressing forward. And let's see which one can, which of the two can land the strike going for the low kick for Koba Zijie. And there you have the back fist of landing that one in dramatic style, but the reaction from Arab Zai as well, spectacular. That is always the risk when you go for spinning attacks because there's always a moment where you give up your back and where you don't have eye contact with your opponent. He has done a nice job at reversing the clinch position here, though he does have an underhook on his left side. But personally, I think the Koba GJ, he should, I think he should disengage and continue fighting on the outside, adding up those leg kicks and switching up going, going low and then high. Let's see if he listens to you right there, Sebastian. But uh, moving forward here, Koba Shinche, the one to take down his opponent. How's that? 
And both men now back on the mat for the better part of what, 40 seconds or so before the end of round number two. Interesting turn of events, right? It could very well be 1 1 in terms of rounds. Such a clear way to path to victory. Why not stay there? He's always running the risk of getting reversed when he's on the ground. See, that was a perfect leg kick. You saw the reaction that he got from Arab Zai. Nice strike there as well. He's doing, oh, and another nice right hand. He is rocking oh. his opponent, and he's getting ready to. Oh, there he is. He is down, and he keeps on fire going for the face and protecting himself, Arabzai. Oh, look at that, Kobajice. And Arabzai with some good reaction there as well. Yeah, he's doing good trying to, you know, close that distance. And basically when he's keeping him close like that, he can't get struck in the same way. Oh, but that knee to the body might have hurt him. And it looks like he's going for a guillotine. That looks tight. That looks really tight. Tightly applied, Anika Kobajice. Is he on the verge of securing a second career victory out here tonight in our very first round? <laughs> there it is. Sebastian, win number two for Nika Kobajice. And how about that? The striker, Nika Kobajice, getting two straight submission victories. But honestly, that was a testament to his striking, which set that up.